quite work out. Of course, he left to get a great opportunity replacing Remy Garn, the world champion in the Rebel KT Myers squad. Now then, the top three in this Grand Prix swap the fastest laps of the race so far. The quickest man on the circuit by a couple of tenths now is the Japanese man in third, Agura, a 143-266. So this is really good pace being set by the number 79. And crucially, what that's doing as well, it's making Arvelino and Fernandez lift their game as well. They're getting dragged along as well to keep themselves in the battle for third. Yeah, I mentioned that first lap of clear track for Igor having made the move on Arbolino. We'd see what kind of pace he's got, and we've got our answer, haven't we? 143.266, comfortably faster than Canet and Bobier, who, as you mentioned, were setting personal best and fastest laps themselves, but Agora just has the superior pace at the moment. You can see him visibly gaining as they go through the fast turn seven, then into turn eight. The second sector will click up as he just comes over the rise on the other side of it into turn nine. Bobier starts it at half a second clear. Agora takes another tenth out of him, down to point four now Agura zeroing in on the leading two and you can see Ayagura's performances so far this year how far he's had to work his way through it shows how good he is in the second half of the race it shows how good he is at time management and we're going to see here potentially a, a stunning late charge coming here from Ayagura he's kept himself right in pole contention here comes Augusto Fernandez that move has been coming it's looked like he's had the slightly superior pace on Arbolino over the last two or three laps or so and he makes the move at turn 13 so Augusto Fernandez Fernandez moves into fourth. I just wonder there whether he felt it was a movie he had to make because he could just see Kinet Bobier and Agura starting to streak away from Arbolino in fourth. Agura's all over them. He started this lap half a second behind Cameron Bobier. He's going to end it virtually alongside him. Across the line they go then to complete lap eight at 143.076. Fastest lap of the race once again. Back to back fastest laps for Agura. He was nearly half a second faster than the leading pair ahead of him. Yeah, it's only a matter of time, you feel, now before Agura makes first to move on Bobier. And if he carries on this kind of pace, he should make light work as well of our current race leader, Kinet. They start the climb up through turn number four. Just out of your picture there. Fernandez in fourth out of Arbolino, Chantra and Dixon. Dixon's got a 1.7 second lead over Joe Roberts in eighth spot. You can just see that quartet there coming into shot into turn five. There is Fernandez and he made that move at turn 13 on the previous lap to get through on Tony Arbolino. Now with clear track ahead of the Spaniard, what can he do about the top three men ahead of him? Kinet, Bobier and Agura. Yeah. Chantry, you can see on screen just ahead of Jay Dixon. Then this is the battle for sixth position. They're also lapping in the low 143s. They're faster than the pair ahead of them and faster than the leading two. Ogura, the rider with the superior pace, but Dixon and Chantra virtually maxing the, matching the Japanese. You do wonder, with a little bit of rain falling, whether it is the riders at the back of these groups who are perhaps able to take a little bit more risks so and able to gauge themselves against the riders in front of them. We're on board now then with the race leader Aaron Kinnett with uh, Bobier behind him and Agura able to take that a little bit of a tighter line through turn 13, but he stays in third for now. Dixon will be kicking himself again for a, a poor start and a poor first lap. He, he hasn't really made a clean start or had a, a clean first lap all season long so far this year. It's cost him dearly. He'll be hoping that he can somehow find a way to get back on par with this top three as they sweep down through turn 15 to complete this lap number eight of 23. It will still be advantage pole man Kinnett. He's got a slender lead over Bobier, who fires in another personal best lap, the California, 143. 455. Five. He's having to work really, really hard, isn't he, to keep Agura behind him. Agura was just slightly slower on that previous lap. The pace behind him. Whoa, oh, he's gone. Oh, no. What's oh, happened there? Off. Is oh, it it's, raining? It's raining. It's raining. It's pouring with rain. The top three men have all gone down. Oh, they're all down. Oh, they're all going down. This is going to be stopped. This will. Oh, dearie me. This has got to be stopped. Yeah, it's pouring down. This will down. be a red flag. It's 